Clark again is the outlet. Driven in by Clark and forced in by Patrick Roberts. Obviously, after the games just finished as a manager, I'm very disappointed. I'm gutted. I'm gutted not just for the players, I'm gutted for the fans, I'm gutted for everybody at the whole club. You've had time to reflect now a couple of weeks. How have you, um, how have you looked back on, on what happened at the end of last season and the season as a whole? Yeah, obviously, we've had time to reflect and I've certainly done reflection on, on the season and obviously the playoff games. And, you know, over the course of the, the, the season, we've always been a team that's gradually been getting better and better and better. And, you know, the performances, the consistency, the results, certainly the second half of the season have uh, been what we've wanted really in terms of winning games. Uh, the blend, the cohesion, the attacking football that we've played, um, the many different um, goal scorers that we've had over the course of the season has been uh, tremendous really. So when I look back at the season, I've seen a team that was um, upward and mobile going towards the right direction. The man and it's headed by Ian Quinn. Oh! <laughs> What's a goal by Billy Bichiru! Indas looks for his first of the season. Right footer yes! the keeper get in the there. way. Sheffield Wednesday get their first win of the season. It was not a classic. At times it was slow and ugly, but it won't matter. They take the points back to South Yorkshire thanks to Josh Windass's first goal of the season from the penalty spot. Over 6,000 away fans in that stand today. How pleased are you to send them home happy? Yeah, absolutely delighted um, to see them in there in full voice again. And um, certainly uh, Milton Keynes know when Sheffield Wednesday's in town. gone down in the box it's another cross it's another goal another cross another goal Jack Taylor that's two of them now it's Taylor's header and Sheffield Wednesday 10 man Sheffield Wednesday will head back to South Yorkshire with the first defeat of the season Peterborough 2 Sheffield Wednesday nil to Windass for Wednesday get a second here Windass with a great ball it's a big go on, go on, Liam, Liam Palmer, Palmer. Liam Palmer. Yeah. on his oh, 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 Liam Palmer. for Sheffield Wednesday Liam been a good week for us um, to get the 2-0 victory at Bolton, 3-0 in the cup against Rochdale, and to finish it off here with a 5-0 victory, 10 goals in three games with that on the clean sheet, um, so I have to be pleased with that. Now a chance to cross, it goes in towards Smith, he heads it down, Windass. Back to Smith, it's Smith, it's oh. three, it's Michael Smith who punches the air and says that'll do. What a performance from Sheffield Wednesday. They have smothered Morecambe tonight. Flicks it for Bannon, Bannon moves it on, James, Reese James crosses. Yeah. Smith, Michael Smith with the header from a few yards out and Wednesday grab the equaliser. It's Michael Smith with his first goal in open play. No, you can't beat winning games, can you? Like, obviously, all the lads are buzzing from the win, um, which we go out to win every single game. And that's that's the pre well, not pressure, that's the demands here, and we'd like to say we'll we'll live up to them. And down the line it goes, Bannon. Bannon with a lovely control just outside the corner of the penalty area. Tees up Malik Wilkes, whose shot is blocked by the defender. Out to Volks, who scores oh an absolute beauty for Sheffield Wednesday. The somersault and the pirouettes as he goes to celebrate by the corner flag. Take it. Again, right 
left-footed and just steps away as Windass goes to the ball and hits it, and he finds the net. In it goes, Josh Windass on target. Cheltenham men with the ball, but Wednesday take all the points. A superb scoreline in the end. Mullane in a tick, big drama. There is Gregory. Oh. Just and drifts the ball in. Well, goodness me, that is a wonderful finish from Lee Gregory. Goal drought certainly over. His second of the game. It's a great way to end the year, isn't it? Back to back wins now, 12 games unbeaten, and, and that solidifies us tonight as the, as the most, uh, the highest point holders of any team in the top four divisions in 2022. What an excellent stat to have, and uh, congratulations to everybody here at Sheffield Wednesday for that magnificent achievement. It's no easy feat. There, Wednesday's got it back. It's now with uh, oh, that's Will. It. He plays it through towards Windass. The angle's tight. Oh! That doesn't matter because Windass manages to find the corner of the goal from a very acute angle. Lovely slide rule pass, and Windass had it all to do. But he did it all right on Wednesday, certainly starting the new year with a bang here. Yeah, yeah, look, you know, I'm really happy everybody is well. Uh, the, the, club tonight, uh, the, the club is feeling good. Uh, hopefully promotion this year, you can feel a bit the positivity around. And, you know, today is a very good, uh, very good game. Hopefully Wednesday goes through and then makes my visit also nicer. the overlapping ball and there are three in the middle here in white shirts and Isak's header, it's a great save, what a good save by Dawson. Byers under a bit of pressure, fabulous turn by George Byers. Byers, careful ball into Palmer, this is great stuff for Deniran. Winder scores for Sheffield Wednesday. Richie, it's a good delivery, oh Bobman on the turn, Anderson, wonderful save. Darren, let's talk about your form at the moment because you're on a quite a monster run, really. If you just take out that um, EFL Cup loss, which was on penalties, it's something like 18 games, isn't it? That stretch or something ridiculous unbeaten. What is going on with you guys at the moment? Sheffield Wednesday reset the club record. They are now unbeaten in 22 matches. Utterly superb.
didn't think we was quite good enough today. Um, credit to Barnsley. Uh, obviously, they set the store out. Um, they played the best percentage of the game today. And, um, and once they got their nose in front, um, it was very difficult. Sheffield Wednesday are going to face Peterborough United now in the playoffs over two legs in the semi-final. They may have work to do again here. They have come up with the answer, though not for long. The expert throw! <laughs> Jeff Taylor! Ward. Ward having a strike! Mason Clark. And from Mason Clark drives the ball! a mountain that will be insurmountable. Why is it? Because I think his players are just awful tonight. I think they've been brilliant all season. He's, he's had some injuries to deal with. I think he's navigated But this is where it counts. This is, the, this is where it counts. Yeah, he can okay. be brilliant all, right. all, can be brilliant all season. What frame of mind were these players going into this game?
I'm absolutely delighted with what we've had to come through this season. But listen, boys, we've got one more. <laughs> we've got one more. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. enjoy tonight, but we've got one more. But I'm so proud. Quite know where that ball's gone. Comes back for Deli Bashiru. Can he get it back to him there, Gregory? It's still with Lee Gregory. He's in the box. Tries to screw it. Is it going to be there? Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Oh my word! Oh, it's oh, in! Wednesday have got it! Just oh, win this one thing! Yeah, it's a win this! Wembley winner! Yet again! Oh, like father! Like son! Come to pass! It's all over! Yeah! Wednesday are oh, back in the championship! Yeah! That's it, just five. Go, well big man. Yes. Well Wednesday are going up. These are the men who brought this club alive again. They took on the challenge and they won. Standing on the Royal Balcony, Sheffield Wednesday are Championship royalty again.